There are a lot of Pokemon cards that have been printed over the years. And while the alternate art V and VMAX cards we have now are incredible in their own right, this time around I want to focus on certain cards that were released before the Sword and Shield era. Cards from the Sun and Moon era to be precise. My name is Budget Pokemon, and in this video we're going to take a look at the tag team cards from the aforementioned Sun and Moon era. Initially released on February 1st, 2019 as part of the Sun and Moon team up expansion, and right off the bat these artworks are absolutely incredible. I mean just take a look at this Latias and Latios GX card, a superb illustration by Sanosuke Sakuma. This card's also been getting quite expensive of late, it doubled from around $200 to now $400. But stunning illustrations are just one part of the things the team up expansion gave us. The Pikachu and Zekrom GX proved to be a powerful card for the competitive scene. I mean 150 damage for just 3 energy that also lets you search your deck for 3 additional energy and attach them in any way you like? Yeah, that's quite ridiculous. The Tag Team Bolt GX attack for 200 was pretty good, but with 3 extra energy this attack, in addition to probably taking out your opponent's active Pokemon, also did 170 damage to a benched Pokemon, taking out an already weakened Pokemon or preventing your opponent from setting up another threat. Another strong card was the Gengar and Mimikyu GX. For just 2 energy you not only got to look at your opponent's hand, you also did 50 damage for each trainer card in your opponent's hand. The GX attack is also really good, basically locking your opponent out of playing cards during their next turn. This card was usually combined with Omastar also from Team Up, to completely lock out your opponent from playing any item cards, in turn strengthening the Poltergeist attack even further. Following Tag Team was Unbroken Bonds, released on May 3rd, 2019. At the time this set added some of the strongest competitively viable options, and while the Ferramosa and Buswall GX was decent, and certainly had the potential to instantly win if you managed to attach enough energies to it and take out the opposing tag team Pokemon, it didn't quite hold a candle to these three. The Lucario and Melmetal GX, Reshiram and Charizard GX, and Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. Let's start with the Lucario and Melmetal GX. For starters, the Steel Fist attack lets you search and attach metal energy straight from your deck, which was decent. The real kicker of course was full Metal Wall GX. For the rest of the game your metal Pokemon take 30 less damage from your opponent's attacks. Combining this with Metal Frying Pan and you suddenly have no weakness to fire anymore in addition to taking less damage. Taking a look at the Reshiram and Charizard GX, for just 2 energy you can do 30 damage plus 10 damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. And with an HP total of 270, this attack could max out at 290 damage, which would basically one hit KO most Pokemon at the time. Flare Strike 230 damage for 4 energy was insane, but the GX attack was something else. For just 3 energy you could do 200 damage, or add another 3 fire energy and this attack does 300 damage while ignoring any effects of your opponent's Pokemon. Last but not least from this expansion was the Gardevoir and Sylveon GX. And while the artwork is extremely cute, this card was pretty strong. You have Fairy Song for just 1 energy giving you the ability for an early ramp. 3 energy 150 damage, move any number of energy from your Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. So you would use your Fairy Song to ramp up and then use Kaleidostone to quickly attach more energy to Gardevoir and Sylveon. If you had 6 fairy energies attached and used their magical miracle GX attack, not only would you do 200 damage, you'd also force your opponent to shuffle their entire hand in their deck. Combining this with Chip Chip Ice Axe to guarantee they don't draw anything helpful and completely lock them out of the game. An honorable mention for the best artwork from this set definitely goes out to Greninja and Zoroark GX. The next expansion, Unified Minds, released on August 2nd, 2019, blessed us with a few more stunning artworks, like the Mega Sableye and Tyranitar GX, and the Umbreon and Darkrai GX. And while the Garchomp and Giratina GX, Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX, and Espeon and Deoxys GX were decent, the real star of this set was the Mewtwo and Mew GX. Not only is this one of the best illustrations from the expansion, it was also the most powerful card, perhaps even the most powerful Tag Team GX card during its time. The ability perfection is what made this so good, allowing you to use the attack of any GX slash EX Pokemon on your bench or in your discard pile. The combinations you would see this with were almost endless, 
Reshi Raman Charizard GX, Macargo GX, or Solgaleo GX to just name a few. And while this card was very powerful, it wasn't until the next expansion that a really broken Tag Team GX card was released. So the last and my absolute favorite expansion was Cosmic Eclipse released on November 1st, 2019. And while the power level of most cards in here wasn't on the same level as the previous sets, it gave us some of the most stunning artworks ever, so let's start there. Naturally, I have to mention the Solgaleo and Lunala GX in addition to the Reshiram and Zekrom GX. Both versions of these cards are incredible and beautifully illustrated by Hideki Ishikawa and Naoki Saito respectively. The Mega Lopani and Jigglypuff GX was also an extremely cute illustration. But in addition to that, the card wasn't half bad. Now this card wasn't played exclusively as some of the other cards have. This was more of a tech card per se. First of all, it uses all colorless energy, so it could be played in any deck. A3 energy cost 60 damage attack that did 60 damage more for each of your opponent's GX and EX Pokemon in play. So like I said, it was a great tech card, but nowhere near as powerful as the next card. I mean, of course, the Arceus, Dialga and Palkia GX, or ADP for short. Not only does this card have the best alternate art illustration from all of Cosmic Eclipse, it was also one of the, if not the most powerful, Tag Team GX card in the game. Even more powerful than Mewtwo and Mew GX according to a lot of players. For starters, you have a 3 energy, 150 damage attack that can accelerate your other Pokémon by attaching up to 3 energy in any way you like. But by far the most broken thing about this card was its GX attack. Altered Creation GX, which for one, I repeat one metal energy, made all of your Pokemon's attacks do 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. And if that wasn't enough, by just having an extra water energy attached, this has the additional effect that when your opponent's active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from those attacks, take one more prize card. Just think about it, you've defeated your opponent's GX Pokemon, that means you take three prize cards. Oh, the Tag Team GX Pokemon was KO'd? Better take four prize cards for my trouble. You can see the issue with this card. But instead of ending the video with that, let's end it with some Tag Team cards that I haven't covered. Which are these? Tag Team Trainer cards. So with all being said, I personally really like the concept of Tag Team cards, Pokemon working together, and I would absolutely love to see them return in the future. But that does it about for this video. Have I missed anything? Please do let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe for more awesome content in the future, and thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.